Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm, and today I will show you my DWC, or Deep Water Culture Hydroponic System, and my DIY grow tent. I will also be showing you the amount of light that I supply to my plants using a Lux meter. Now, before people lose their tops about using a PAR meter, Lux meters are a lot cheaper. This one is about 30 bucks, where a good PAR meter is about three to five hundred dollars. Lux meters are great to compare between sources like sunlight and your grow light or checking spots on your plant canopy. All my equipment in this video is linked on my website below, so if you're interested in what I have, take a look. So let's get right into it. For the shelf, I use a 36 by 14 by 54 tall wire rack with only one top and bottom shelf used. It was not suitable for 10 by 20 grow trays, so I used it to support this system. I used two three gallon container, containers that I salvaged from work. They are connected together at the bottom for easy draining and filling. One three gallon batch fills both containers halfway. My system is more like a mix between crack key and DWC. This ensures the plant always has enough access to air, which also helps with root rot, my number one issue. Whenever I wanna drain the system, I just disconnect the buckets from each other so I don't have to handle heavy buckets or disturb the plant. My air pump is an Eco Plus Supreme Air Pumps 4 with 143 gallon per hour output. I recommend getting a powerful air pump like this one because I had issues with air not pushing out the stone in deep water. You should only use one air stone per connection for the same reasons. Fans are a requirement when growing indoor plants to keep mold and other humidity issues under control. It is just a cheap basic fan, nothing, nothing fancy about it, but it is still included in my website if you want it. To make my indoor grow tent, I used two 100 watt LED lights on the sides, a 6 mil diamond pattern reflective mylar at the back, and one adjustable 140 watt garage light to give light to the top of the plant. Supplying enough light to the plant is my second biggest issue besides root rot. I have been growing lots of lettuce which grow readily in low light conditions because it is a cold weather crop. However, tomatoes are a summer plant and need lots more light. I made a chart here of different places I measured light with my Lux meter. Total Lux from the sun is hard to measure because it is not constant all day like a grow light. So 800,000 total Lux per day or 40 to 50K for 18 hours is a good place to be, but don't be shy to be higher. As you can see, the tomato plants are squat and compact, which is good, unlike these other tomatoes in my aeroponic system. The aeroponic tomatoes only get between 20 to 40K lux sporadically, so the leaves are reaching trying to get more light. This reaching causes the leaves and flowers to be more spaced out and bigger, which is bad in a compact indoor growing system. Thanks for watching part two of hydroponic systems that I use. The next part will be about my aeroponic system, which in my opinion is one of my favorites. Just plants just shoot up when you use higher aeroponics. So thanks for watching, so make sure you subscribe so you can catch that video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.